Welcome to part 19 of the Danganronpa V3 blind playthrough. Today we're going to see the execution of the chapter 1 class trial killer. Come on, Kaede, you didn't have to make it so sad. Alright. Okay, I'm like sweating from <laughs> the game. I don't know how to describe it, but... What's gonna happen? Oh uh, no, not the collar. Where are they taking her? Oh, they're taking her outside the door. What was that the the vine boom noise that I just heard? Uh, oh yeah, of course on the piano. It's gonna be like that uh, one Rick and Morty scene with their the piano keys. What the? Oh Jesus! What are they gonna do? Someone gonna play the piano with Smusher? So many possibilities. I can't pronounce that, I'm very sorry. Oh, uh, uh, uh. that is not comfortable. Oh, I see. <laughs> Honestly, it's impressive. Whoa. Whoa, those are spikes. Oh, geez. Oh, gosh. Um. Oh, dang it. Oh. What the frick? Moto Kid. What'd you. Why did you do that? Well. Didn't like him, anyways. Dang. Poor Kaede. But it looks like they're killing them by their ultimate abilities again, not by what would make them cause the most despair. Just wanted to point that out. Hmm. The moment it was over, I felt my legs get out, give out under me. <laughs> what I just saw didn't feel real. As if all reality had vanished and the only thing left was a fictional world. Real or not, Kaede was gone. Kaede Akamatsu no longer existed in our world. Yeah. And of course the music plays. Huh? What the? Why is Mana Kid? Yeah! Monodum! What have you done? <laughs> what the heck did Monodum do? Ah, gross, she puked again. Oh, well. But this tension ain't so bad, you know. Finally feels like a proper killing game. If anything, we could stand to use a little more tension in our lives, right, Dad? <laughs> no, my sweet darling Mono Kid claimed as a collateral damage. Wow, wow, wow. This is a nightmare. This is unacceptable. My precious cub is... Ah. On second thought, I guess it's okay after all. I got four more cubs. Yeah. Phew, I'm glad you kids came in bulk. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Huh, it's okay. I'm shocked. Our existence means that little. Wow. Huh? What's done is done. What's dead is dead. No point crying over crushed cubs. <laughs> that is my philosophy, kind of. Unless you want to end up like these sad snacks, sex. It's okay to grieve, Monokuma. It's not- it's oh. healthy. What? What in the world is this? Really? Uh, are you freaking kidding me? Talk about overkill. Amen! Atiya, please grant Kaede's soul eternal re repose? <sighs> I can't believe this happened to Kaede. I liked her so, so m -m -m much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yahoo! Hoo -hoo -hoo. All this adrenaline creates such an exquisite feeling of despair. It's moments like these that make it all the killings worth it. This is... Why are you doing such a terrible thing? How dare you! You're the worst of the worst. Does human life have no value hey, to you at all? Um... Hey, I know human life is precious. I'm not a monster, you know. Because <laughs> if human life wasn't precious, ending it wouldn't be nearly as much fun. That is very true. Extreme! There's no greater joy than witnessing such a display of despair entertainment? <laughs> mm. You've surpassed psychotic by a wide margin. What now? I don't think I've ever felt quite this irritated. I won't forgive you for this, got that? I won't ever forgive oh. you! Spoken like a marked man! Excuse me. What is your objective, Monokuma? That is a great question what and I want to know. To Do you hate us? If so, have we done something to make you hate us? Huh? Hate you? <laughs> <laughs> Who can say? Hey, That's um, your job to figure out. Well, screw you, Monokuma. If you really want to know what's going on, you're gonna have to work for it. Well. Though the corpse formerly known as Rantaro may have had a hunch. <gasps> huh? Do we get to know? What is it? What do you mean? What was Rantaro's hunch? <laughs> <laughs> what indeed? He did know about the ultimate hunt, and we didn't. 
He did say he would end this game. Oh, he did say that. And he knew about the hidden door. Could that all be related to this hunch you claim he had? <laughs> I wonder. Why you? Hey, what the hell is this hunch you're going on about? Spill it. <laughs> I wonder. <sighs> you have no intention of telling us? Then keep your mouth shut. Cause. You're focusing on Kayati instead of her deadweight victim. Well. well, it's not his fault he was useless. He died before his talent could be revealed. It was going to be revealed? If he had lived long enough to reveal it, maybe he would have been more useful. Too bad. Oh well, he's dead, and that's that. That's the indifference of death for ya. However... He wasn't really the mastermind, was he? You're really bugging me. <sighs> Are you still pestering me with these annoying questions? And Aren't you guys focusing a little too much on whether or not there's a mastermind? I agree. If you keep up like this, you're all gonna end up like Kaede. What? Mmm... Here. Maybe spend less time worrying about nonsense and more time watching your back, okay? Right. You never know who's gonna become the next killer. Uh, I can't wait. I wonder what kind of killing game we'll get to see next. <laughs> Damn it, you may have gotten us this time, but we'll get you next time. Why? You'll see. Why are you all psyched up? That's nice. That is weird. It's nice to see that at least one of you had some sh shut sh shut spa around here. I have a feeling you're going to live for a while. Thanks. Oh no, please no. Thanks, I'll do my best. Don't screw around. Shut the hell up. We're not going to have another killing game. I, Kaito Amona, am not gonna let you have your way anymore. Got it? I'ma punch that grin right off your face for sure. Is that so? Oh, really? That seems unlikely. I'm pretty sure you won't live long enough to do that. Ka Monokuma, you're spoiling the Damn. game. <laughs> Although well... I don't see Kaito living long. Um, anyways, you guys have a lot to think about. <laughs> Work hard and do your best to graduate, because the fun's only just begun. Ah, oh, Jesus. Screw hey. you, Monokuma. Monodum, explain yourself. Mm. I get that Mon I get that Mon kid was obnoxious and rude, but that was way over the line. Did I miss, like, did Monodum throw him? I must have missed that, but if that happened, I love Monodom. Mon Monodam? Monodom? Because. I did it for us. Good for you, Monodom. Ah! Hey, wait, Monodom! Mm. Where are you going? It's getting interesting! He probably killed him as payback for all the bullying. What an interesting turn of events. Is it? Oh, bye! And with that, and with that, Monokuma and the Cubs left. It's weird, I don't know what to do for the voice now of the inner, inner thoughts. And only we remain in the courtroom. <sighs> Can you imagine? Shuichi dies later, and we switch protagonists again? Oh, man. I don't think I can take all this. Me neither. I can't stand like I can't stand this anymore. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy. No. Sumigi, you mustn't give up hope. Mm. Is there even hope to be had here? The room feels utterly drained of it. <sighs> good, good, Kaede. <sighs> what kind of degenerate male cries in public? It's so rude. Um, screw you, Tenko. But Tenko, you're crying too. Hi. Now's not the time to point that out, Kibo. Just let it be. Now's not the time for Teko to be a sexist. Rare time. In times like this, we should pray for Kaede's soul so she can rest in peace. What? <laughs> How is anyone supposed to rest in peace for getting killed like that? I don't know. What are we gonna do from now on? <sighs> yeah, I'd like to know too. I'm so over this already. That's enough! Oh, shut up! Shut up! You all just need to shut up! Kaido's voice boomed in the air as the room went silent. Damn. Every single one of you and your meek little complaints. Kaede's not here to give her little speeches anymore. Shut up! You're pissing me the hell off! Damn it. But the one who's pissing me the most off Dumbass. is you, Shuichi. What the heck did huh? Shuichi do to deserve this? Oh, what the frick? Shuichi did not deserve that. Clench your teeth! Screw you, Kaito. Kaito! You are supposed to say that before you hit him. Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you! That she passed her wish onto you. And she really wanted me to punch you. But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma. You call yourself a man? Wait, but he did. Like, before you guys were all talking about beating the exes up, he kind of spoke up. But okay. Sure, go ahead and punch him. Damn it. What's the matter? Say something already. Dumbass. Just, I just hit you. Aren't you pissed off? What's your problem? Chuichi, I want to see you stand up for yourself right now. <sighs> Enough, Kaito. Mm -hmm. Sucker punching is pretty low, even for a low light degenerate male like Listen you. Up. You better knock it off, or I'm going to explode my Neo Akito all over your face. What? 
<laughs> fine. Are you okay? Shuichi. Ugh. Shuichi, are you okay? Uh, okay. I I'm fine. For now. Please stop. This sort of altercation is just a waste of time. Mm. Gonta not sure it waste of time, but Gonta agree. Fighting not good. Then... Can we leave now? Staying here will only make us more depressed. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> well put. I uh, I agree wholeheartedly. Whole hmm. Sorry. Sorry, you all should go ahead without me. Um... Why? Is there a reason you wish to stay in a place like this? Uh, um... I want to be alone for a while, just for a little bit. But, but we can't just leave you here by your s No. Sumigi. Sumugi. Perhaps it would be best if we allowed him some privacy for now. Okay, I suppose. Shuichi, don't beat yourself up, okay? Yeah. Just hit the reset button on your feelings, and you'll feel happy and cheerful in no time. Is that what you do, Kokichi? Because it really seems like it. Being a tad insensitive is important for survival. I think that's actually true. It helps of one avoid suicidal thoughts. Hey! Gonta will go back too. Let Gonta know if you need his help, okay? Although you can't just turn on insensitiveness. It's not really a thing you can do. But yeah, it makes sense Shuichi would need uh, a little time by himself. One by one, everyone climb aboard the elevator. Except... Kaito, are you gonna punch me again? I mean... Shuichi, I don't know how well you knew Kaede. But why don't you try going to her ultimate lab? <laughs> what do you mean? That's right. Uh, I just talked like Kaede there. Monokuma will set up, the, set up the room, so there's probably not a lot there to remember by, but there should at least be a bunch of little things she liked. Uh, okay. Things Kaede liked? Listen up. Understand? There's only one way to get through this awful feeling. No one's gonna be able to console you if you're just sitting here alone. I mean... If anyone's gonna help you, it'll be her and your memories. Okay, Kaito being nice after punching me. With those words, he stepped onto the elevator. Kaito's in a weird flip floppy position like on one hand he's nice he stands up for himself he's a little bit positive on the other hand sometimes he doesn't follow through with sometimes he just punches people all right shuichi it's gonna be a tough road ahead before i realized it i got to my feet i just started walking as i had as and i was headed toward the ultimate pianist research lab oh we're gonna be there now well here we are i'm starting to feel it too now uh I've been sitting with this game for too long. I've been here for like uh, like three hours. It's not as if there would be any memories here, but these are the things she was really passionate about, and that's good enough for now. What a magnific magnificent piano. I would have liked to hear her play it, if only just once. Oh, we never did. Oh, that reminds me of the song Kaede was talking about. Of course, it must be here somewhere. She said a lot of songs. Which one? I sit in front of the shelves of CDs and search each one thoroughly end to end. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Ah! Oh, oh! Here it is! This is it! Oh, the... the <laughs> that one. I took the CD from the shelf and placed it in the player in the corner. Soon a soft melody had filled the classroom. Ooh, did we get to hear it? Oh, Claire de... I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's beautiful. I'll turn it up for you guys. My body relaxed, totally enveloped in the music. It was a strange feeling, the sound seeping into my body. Mm. Before long, I began to close my eyes. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. Claire de Lune. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. Mm. You noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. Yeah, I'm about to murder someone. It's but pretty hard. I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. Don't show me this. You <laughs> give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. I'm trying to not be sad. So please... Be more confident. If I get sad, I'm just going to be quiet, and you know it's not going to be a very good video. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but... No, I'll do it. Yeah, Suichi. I have to believe in myself. I won't be afraid anymore. Yeah. I will face the truth for everyone. I won't give up. For your sake, Kaede. Yeah. I promise. 
from the bottom of my heart. I promise you, Kaede. I'm very... Oh! Yep. Ghost Kaede. That's our promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye. No! Oh man. I'm gonna need to take a break to recover. <laughs> Alright, chapter one's over. Oh jeez. Fourteen. Fourteen left. Well, we guess we're gonna see chapter two in the next one. Oh, we got a musical no hairpin. Oh, I want one. I wanna get one IRL. I think it would look cool. And we'll see chapter two in the next episode. Bye!